I'm finally here. I made it to Geo Woodstock. I'm Neil Moore, and this is Cash Tales. Thanks for joining me today. Let's see who we can find at Geo Woodstock. Signal today at Geo Woodstock. Man, we're like best buds. We are thicker than thieves. Having a good time? Awesome. Thanks, Signal, for being here. Thanks for all the work you do. Hello, everybody. I'm here at Geo Woodstock, and with me is Dan from Adventures with Dan. If you haven't seen his videos, I'll put a link to his videos in the description below. And uh, make sure you watch his videos. He's from the Georgia area, so we see a lot of nice southern warm places to go geocaching. <laughs> Not the snow. <laughs> yeah, no, no snow down there. If you get only my chin, that's fine. <laughs> Strong feature. We're at Geo Woodstock today, and I am with Osguff. He is a local cacher, and he owns just a couple geocaches in this area. How many do you own? I've placed uh, about 2,200 caches. I read that you did some maintenance lately. I, I, yeah, I, I visited, I don't know, five or six hundred of my caches just to double check on the last... Uh, five or six hundred for maintenance. I mean, Most people don't even have that many fines. Right. So that kind of takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time, but I'm sort of lucky with, with my work. I, you know, I can work hard for a couple of days and then take a little time to go out and, you know, check out things. So, so what is your favorite cache that you have out there? Of my own? Of your own. Um, wow. That's a, that's a tough one. Out of 2,200 hides, uh, what are your favorite one? My favorite one hide. I, I can't give you one, but any of my, look, the caches that I love the most are the ones where you go for a hike, all right? And there's a destination somewhere, whether it's a you know, waterfall or a view or something like that. So any of my caches that you have to get out of the car and walk for an hour or so or more, those are the sorts of caches that I like. So those caches obviously don't get visited as much, but uh, I think it's more rewarding for me when I get a, a log on those uh, those sorts of caches. For me, it's it's, it's getting out and, and uh, communing with, with nature. So. Well, thank you very much for the dedication of the game. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy your 14-hour drive home. Okay. I will. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I am standing here with none other than Spartacus himself. I have finally found him, but I'm sure I don't get a path tag for it. Uh, how did you come up with Spartacus as your name? Uh, it's actually a nickname given to me by one of the guys I work with. Right. And so now you've hooked up with Keith, the bi-monthly feature in the magazine. Yes. Do you feel as famous as you are? Most of the time, yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, do people search you out at every event? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can say I met the famous Spartacus. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Well, hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So this is Tom Learned. Works for Gordon Food Service. Great company to work for. He's out here at the Geo Woodstock. How far did you drive to get here? Uh, six hour drive, seven hour drive. Not bad. It turned out to be a 10 hour drive with caching and traffic. So. I was going to say, geocache driving is different than normal driving. You got to tack on about 75% more time. Absolutely. If you're ever in the Maumee area and you want to go to Gordon Food Service, look up Tom. I'll slice a lot of meat for you. <laughs>
Here we are at Geo Woodstock and we're going to meet the director and writer of the new movie, Treasure. Well, the movie is about Erica. She gets into trouble and has to do community service at a soup kitchen. Now, when she's at this soup kitchen, she's not happy about being there, but she meets another volunteer who goes geocaching. She follows him into the woods and then discovers what he's doing. So it's really about her. She's very disconnected from people and nature in the beginning of the film. And then after she starts going geocaching, she rediscovers a connection with nature and people and learns the meaning of life. Great. Good reception to the movie? Yes, uh, we played it in MOGA. It actually screened in a movie theater. Okay. And I was worried. I thought, well, if anybody watched it in the theater, would they want to order ones afterward? You know, I wasn't sure, but 40 people came out and bum rushed me at the table and <laughs> ordered them right away. So uh, they tell me it's good. I've seen it so many times now, I can't tell. And of course, I made it, so I. <laughs> I like it, of course, but uh, it seems to you, Cashers are really loving the film, and good. so that means that, that means a lot to us. Well, good. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're at Geo Woodstock. We're at the Cash Advance booth, and we got just a, just a few people here. Say hello, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in Waynesville, North Carolina today, and we'll see you next time on Cash Tales.